Now to a, it's a very crazy story. It's coming out of South Carolina. Officials are saying that they busted this massive sextortion ring with more than 400 potential victims. And get this, the victims are the suspects uh, are actually inmates inside of South Carolina prisons. Yeah, Mark Boyle here to fill us in on this. And Mark, these inmates were doing all this scamming behind Mars, making a ton of money. Like, this is the stuff of movies. They were making that money using their phones, contraband phones, right. inside the prison. So let's get right to it and explain to you how this all went down. This sextortion operation surprise is what it was called. So this happened at the Broad River Correctional Institution there in Columbia, South Carolina. Five inmates were arrested and involved in this. Several other people indicted on the outside of jail as well. Military members were targeted and then blackmailed with nude photos. So here's what happened. Once they got those phones inside the jail, these inmates would then get nude photos of young girls just Googling them uh, from different websites online. Then they would send those nude photos to the military members and then they would start this communication. Then they would do this bait and switch and say, hey, I'm the, actually the parent, the father or mother of that young girl that you have the nude photo of and threaten them to tell the police or military officials if they don't pay them money, of course. Of course, they did do that, and over the course of a few years, they got hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of the charges right here, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, extortion, and money laundering. Officials spoke out about this major problem that's going inside, going on inside, inside the jails. What the citizens of South Carolina need to know and the citizens of this country need to know is that folks that they read about in the front pages of the paper and they hear about the guilty verdicts are coming to the departments of corrections across this country. They're physically incarcerated, but as you see today, virtually they're out there among us. They're on the internet, they're able to continue their schemes from behind bars and continue their criminal ways. Unfettered access to the outside world needs to stop. So how do they do this, you say? Well, they have people on the outside working with them. Ben and Carolyn, what's going on is these people on the outside, the friends and family, are putting cell phones inside footballs or basketballs, and then they're throwing them over the fences there at the jail. Then it looks just like a basketball sitting there. Inside that ball is that phone. That's how they're running these crime rings from inside the prisons. And they then made, they're hiding the phones yeah. from, the, from the, the, the jail guards. It's a major problem, clearly, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and these people are being targeted, something that uh, jail leaders want to have changed quickly. It's crazy. All right. It really is.